Hi everyone, hope you're well. Today I'm going to try to print and build a paper model of that paraglider I designed on the last episode on the single skin software. So here we have all the printed pieces. Uh, I've also printed, I've also printed the ribs, just in case. And let's get cutting. We have the first piece. This will be the centerpiece. Right, so most of the pieces are cut. Now I need to see how um, how they go together. I think I just need to start. Uh, I think I just need to start to pre-bend these along the line and see how they go together. So I have these pre-bent, and the nice thing about the software is it gives you some marks that have to match with each other along the cord. So I'm going to try to put those in place. I just pinned the front and the back and it's already getting some curvature to it. That seems to work okay. This might be a mistake but I need to see if I can reinforce it. So I was gonna go for the next panel, but I've decided to check the previous one against one of the ribs that goes there. And the ribs have the same markings that uh, match on the panels. And I've realized it's actually a fair bit off. So I might try to fiddle this in a way that it, it's mostly on the nose, that it just doesn't curve around enough. And if this, if the rib isn't there, there's a fair amount of flex around so that the, the shape can actually change. So I uh, might try to put those ribs on. So that's a little bit better. It, uh, it, it does look like it brings the nose a bit too far down and obviously with paper it's hard to make that smooth. But it's good to have these ribs to actually know what the airfoil should be looking like or what this section should be looking like and do it, uh, do it that way. So see where this goes, do a few more. That was, that was the first one. Second one's looking better. So the bulk of the wing is done and I still have these two and these two for the wing tip. So I just glue them together so that's a little bit easier to put on but it looks like that's going to be too much like, I don't know, it looks like it already has the curve that it should have and with two more sections on each of the sides it just might be too much but I'm going to keep on with it and hopefully it'll work out. There's still one wingtip missing there, but... S 
somehow. Looks like it ended up with a bit too much curvature. Thing is like the more the more I open it, I think it should be something like this. It kind of wants to stay in this position, but if I open it up, the the vertical ribs start to warp. So maybe that's why they have cutouts. And maybe this is just the position of how the material is supposed to stretch. I don't know if the, the, the more it's rounded over like that, the flatter the nose is and the more I open it up, the more the nose, the profile of the nose kind of does this, just curls around, which might be right, I don't know. All right, so uh, believe it or not, just the assembly part took about four or five hours. The leading edge and the trailing edge are reinforced, but I still have a bit of the uh, shape issue. I'm actually gonna put it right next to what the model looks like and see. Because it took so long, I might actually try to put some lines on it uh, and a weight and just see if it flies or, because. Just see, just so it's not so, so much wasted time. It looks just like a paraglider. Probably because it is one. Well, as always, I want to say a big thank you to all these lovely people on Patreon for supporting the channel in this video. Uh, if you're getting something out of these, consider supporting us on Patreon. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on the next one where I may or may not have lines on this. Bye!